because Christian said that, uh, actually, when we were deciding which movie to watch, Christian mentioned how right now he's in the cartoon mood. Because, uh, cause why exactly again? I've been watching a lot of anime and I've been watching a lot of kids' cartoons in the morning. <laughs> Which makes sense in the morning cartoons. In the morning, more. yeah. So. Was it on Saturdays? Saturday, no. On Saturday, I watched Toonami. That's where I watch all my. So, Saturday night cartoons. So, Saturday And then <laughs> the rest of the day, I watch cartoons. And then I realized, like, man, I really like cartoons, cartoons <laughs> these days. Your simplicity. Man, you know what? I really like cartoons. Because as a kid, as a kid, I did, I saw him, but I didn't like grow to love him with everybody. Well, oh, that was me. Yeah. I, I was one of the general audience kids. It's like cartoons, okay. And because of that, we are watching Atlantis: The Lost Empire, two thousand one. Two thousand one. Yeah. Pre or post nine eleven? <laughs> we'll search that up. Yeah, search that up. Okay. Um, but say, say that um, during the track. Yeah. Just just have it just have it reserved on your phone if you want. Um, so yeah, I remember the first time I saw it, I was. Probably in middle school, and they were playing it on Disney, and I I think I saw it halfway through, cause I, when I was a kid I saw commercials of it, but never actually never actually saw it just randomly. And I don't think I think once I only saw the overall the actual overall story of the movie. Right. Yeah, but other than that, that was it. And you? I believe I saw it in no no, no I think I saw it in theaters. I can't say because it was with my cousin. And he, he was the one who took us like movie theaters and shows all these movies. I remember seeing it. I remember as a kid it looking very cool, but not leaving much of an impact. Mm. And then I I remember the sequel because I was like, oh, they made a sequel, but I believe it was a straight to DVD kind of deal. Right? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So that's all. That's all really we got. That's all we got really. Okay. So thank you all for joining us. You guys will pause the commentary track when they say to pause, and then you press play once the once the quote from Plato. P- Plato. It says at the end it says Plato comma three six three hundred and sixty BC. Once that once that fades to black, you guys will press play on this track. J- just so the audience can know, uh, the time the timestamp for this is one hour thirty five minutes and forty seconds. So you can make sure you have the right, you have the right version. And now that you know when to pray, when to pray. <laughs> now you know when to pray. And w- w- now you know now you, now that you know when to play the track, press pause now. I do not remember the look of it now. <laughs> you don't or you do? Yeah. The way the clouds looked and all that, I was just uh, like, huh. You remember, oh, 3D. Yeah. I remember. Are I these just, Spanish? I believe it's like saying another language. Huh. What? I don't know. I'm I'm just getting Star Wars vibes. <clears throat> the music and the vehicles. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, then there's a wave. I wonder if that's an actual language or one they made up. I wonder if it's based off anything. We had to fix something because something weird happened. So, what were you saying about your thoughts on this? It didn't leave much of, of, of an impact when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll see how it is now. It's a hell of a start, though. You know, kidnap the mom, and then they just buy some weird entity. Yeah, I mean, they just buried the fuckers with water. So, we'll see how that goes. All right, Michael J. Fox is in this. You just, you just remember that randomly now? Yeah, I just remember <laughs> that randomly now. He had his own sitcom. That was... Before oh. Back to the Future. After. Was it after? Yeah, it was It was the Michael J. Fox show. What, was, it because of cre- was it because of his credibility to Back to the Future? Or was it before? Because I remember that they couldn't... They initially couldn't get 
Michael J. Fox, even though they wanted him, yeah. because he was in the because he was in another show, and so they were filming with some other guy. But then, but then at some, but then at some point during filming, um, they they realized that oh, this the guy they got wasn't that was yeah. it wasn't working. And then and Michael J. Fox said that oh I I was um finally able I'm free no, yeah, enough he, to he, he was that did that, that did happen he wasn't but it, but it wasn't for another, it was for another show, it wasn't the the Michael J. Fox show. No, the Mike, the Michael J. Fox show came out like in the 2010s. Oh, that one. Yeah, oh, I heard about that. I, th- I thought you meant like when he. No, 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 sorry. No. Be more specific. Uh, well, you interrupted me. Before I got, I got out the year. Yeah. It was a weird. It was a weird second because it 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 seemed like the whole joke revolved around Scott Parkinson's. It, it was probably his idea. Probably it's you know. But uh. Yeah. I've always wondered if Parkinson Parkinson affects your voice. Just he sounds the same. Yeah, it sounds the same. Yeah. Oh, is that what you're asking? No, that's yeah, that's all you asked too. Just mm. like I wonder if that. Iceland. Oh yeah. For a second, yeah. for a second, I thought that was his foot. <laughs> How much do you remember of this movie? The funny guy with dynamite. That's all you remember? Yeah. So how's this right now? Sounds really weird, but I really like his voice. <laughs> I don't know. Because it works for him? Yeah, it, it's a natural fit for the character. Mm-hmm. I like the little touch. Pardon me, pardon me Mr. Hickenbottom. <laughs> I do like the the animation because it like they're going for like full on expression. Yep. Yeah. And this was uh, yeah this was solely Disney right? Yeah. No no Pixar. No Pixar done. No. That could be why it's, it feels like it's missing something. Like to use it, it does it feel like Disney produced or do you feel something? You know this reminds me of Treasure Planet. Already? Yeah. Or, or or only because you know this was made, this was only made by Disney. Because it was made, only made by Disney. It feels very. <laughs> he looks like a dork. What about now? He he could pass off as Spider Man. <laughs> so doesn't he look like uh, like he like that would be Peter Parker? I can believe that. Yeah, you see, just, just change a little bit of his like his chin. Maybe. But I get the overall yeah and and sentence. I I actually like like that because it makes sense because they like yeah. because they know what to attest to like oh by the way it was at three thirty oh it's four o'clock so no <laughs> <laughs> you didn't leave fast enough <laughs> also now I'm just thinking of Stuart, Stuart Little because Michael J Fox doesn't change his voice at all when he voices Stuart Little. Oh shit! You're right. He was. He is. He's super little. Also, he doesn't change his voice at all. So it sounds. Yeah. It sounds exactly the same. Yeah. Can you see him being a rat? <laughs> with his with. Sure, there's a mouse. No, not a rat. Oh, what a mouse? Mouse rat. Whatever. Okay, a mouse. Can you see him being a mouse? And and his adopted father being House. Hugh Laurie. Oh, yeah. We gotta do those movies soon because I don't remember them at all. Oh man, I I I, I regret those. <laughs> I've seen the first one because PMI did a track on it. Did you ever play uh, Stuart Little 2 on the PS1? I never knew those again. Yeah. I remember enjoying it as a kid. I never passed it though. At least you know the, the driver chooses to go back, not him. <laughs> Oh, at least we're knowing that he actually respects Milo. <laughs> right? I mean, kind of. In a, in, a, <laughs> in, a, in a way, he respects him. I say, like, you have potential. Yeah. Be, you have to stop believing this nonsense. His clothes is fine. His clothes is fine, I just said. Hey, 
Hello, Mr. Thatch. Ooh, it kind of right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The dope reference right there. I like they're having fun with it though, like like yeah. this and then with the music. The 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 dress strap thing falling off. I could do I could do without that. Very noir femme fatale. Yeah. But I, I could do without the uh the strap? Yeah, the strap being removed. Mm-hmm. Whip more. I always liked how rain looks in animation. When done well. Yeah, no, when done well of course. Hey, was it right now? To me, she looks attractive <laughs> like that. I think to me, she's more attractive when she's not trying to be seductive. Is she supposed to be German? I always thought she was German. I don't know. Claire? <laughs> the, the animation, huh? Mm-hmm. I always remember that weird uh, mark she has under her eye. The mark or just the um, the little mole thing? Oh, the mole, whatever it is. Oh, that was weird how he just shows up. (laughs) Right? Like, he was just looking like, Grandpa, and then we just cut to him being over there. (laughs) That was odd. (laughs) Like, to to me, that only makes sense to do that for a character that we've seen before. Like, oh, it's him again, but we're, there's a completely new character, and we're just, that that was an odd way to literally introduce him. What he was doing, it was, that's fine, he, he's quirky. Yeah. But the other, just the overall prison, how he's shown. <laughs> so, but why do you think now is now is the right time? To <laughs> yeah, they're going now. Sir, this, <laughs> sir, the, this, this is how we get to Treasure Planet. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. It's just, yeah, I think it was a copy and paste story. He's gonna touch a, a page and then the map comes for you. Next, you know. Um, that that old man barks <laughs> and says like, "Oh, I used to be a do- I used to be a doctor too." <laughs> oh, I like the animation on him on the from the water. Yeah, the reflection of the water. Oh, that's really good. Look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. It reminds me of Bioshock. What kind of fish are those anyway? No idea. They look like mutant fish, no? <laughs> oh, I remember. I always liked this this ship. I remember McDonald's. Do you know those little ship that, that that little ship that was shown over there? Yeah. Like the that little ship in the drill, those were those were sold in McDonald's it kids to toys. Right? Yeah. yeah. I think I had one. I can believe you. I thought it was the same dude in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> they looked. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. <laughs> you think they were gay? They did. I think they actually kissed in that picture, and then they they say, Bleh! Oh. I think I think they just they just kissed. Yeah, they did it just for appearances, and then they made it later in the hotel room. <laughs> That guy, I always remember that guy. Mm. Es es mexicana, ella. Is she really? Yeah, last name Ramirez. Mm. Oh, she's proven right by them finding the journal in Iceland, not... um, Ireland. Ireland. I was going to say Greenland. (laughs)
That's all he did. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes look weird. <laughs> my gosh! Wait, the, the next thing, next thing you know, like he says, "My gosh, you cleaned her." <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think I, I think I actually would have liked, really liked that touch. Like, my gosh! Uh-huh. And he just says, "You cleaned her." <laughs> oh, <laughs> psychopath! Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, that's why transition, uh-huh. but him puking. The ocean animation is good. Oh, I think that was reused yeah. right now. I wonder. If, I wonder if that's the same voice actress who plays the Slug Lady in Monsters Inc. <laughs> Sorry. Remember the Slug Lady from Monsters Inc. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 Mr. Ham from Toy Story. Down or Mr. Potato Head? <laughs> one of them sounds sound right. What's the first one you said, Mr. What? Ham. The pig, pig bag. Pig, pig. Okay. Hmm. Is it? No, I'm saying doesn't it sound like him? It's been a while since he talked stories. You can look it up right now. Is. All right, let's find out. What's the guy's name? Cookie, right? Yeah. Also, this movie was pre 9/11. Oh, okay. So, um, That's important. <laughs> a more innocent time, if you will. That's a joke. Brother Bear. We should do Brother Bear. Oh. Here's your favorite part. Cookie Jim Varney. Let's see what this guy did. He isn't Toy Story. He no, he's the dog, Slinky dog. Oh, I knew his voice sounded very familiar though. Mm -hmm. That explains why then. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and those two guys have like the the A Atlantis title movie thing on oh, their yeah, shoulder yeah. I never noticed that I wonder if it's a reference to considering what happens later on in the movie let's we'll see what happens oh good good I don't remember oh okay I don't remember this movie too well. I keep telling oh, you oh okay uh, okay with what happens uh, considering that design and and how bright that color is mm. yeah to, to me I'm like oh I think they were kind of setting it up Hey, do you hear someone just yell? Like, ah! <laughs> I think I might have, yeah. Okay, just me. Is that just a random scream in the movie? Mm-hmm. I always did like how the ship uh, was designed. Yeah, it's a fun, different design. I always like the sort of bubble with the, in the front. Mm-hmm. Just and they have little cannons right on the side. What are the Atlanteans from um, the Aquaman movie? Had similar ship designs like this. Uh, what what do you think? Just seeing like something ship a ship like this created by the Atlanteans. Now, now we're talking about another. I, I think it'd be too big for them, and they can swim. No, but like uh, esque es- ship design esque. You know, I don't remember the ship designs in the movie. I think they were just fishes. Where are they? Yeah, so, so, so I think similar to what the Atlanteans have in this movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember him being like the nicest guy of the whole crew. Yeah. 
I didn't think he was a doctor. <laughs> what you th- what you think that, huh? You thought he was the muscle? I thought he was. A, I thought he was a therapist. <laughs> I still a doctor in a way. Not a medical doctor. Huh. God damn! Is every character gonna talk like this? She's not. Also, the the, dyna- the dynamite guy, he, he talks like pretty normal. Like, were you not were you not hearing when he was saying what he got with him? Like dynamite. Let me see. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah. dynamite. I meant uh, I'm in the room. Oh, in the room. Hmm. <laughs> well, so far I'm enjoying the movie. What I like the look of it. One Treasure Planet. Yep. Actually, yeah, because the the aesthetic of it is much more pleasing than what it was in Treasure Planet, and where we were in the futuristic world, yeah. but all we saw was mainly dirt and houses. Yeah. One motel. That's it. And they didn't really util- utilize the the world, moon, the moon port. Yeah. yeah. That and this has a way better main character. Oh, I really like. <laughs> actually, has some yeah defining features. Yeah. And we see him in Aquaman the movie. This is the Book of Mormon. <laughs> She's playing with the handgun. <laughs> is that actually a weapon for him to write on, or, or is he assuming that? <laughs> Prune <laughs> the creature immediately. Now, now, just because you know, um, in Treasure Planet, when um, the protagonist is the, is a kid, mm-hmm. and he says Treasure Planet. <laughs> You know, you know that, right? Yeah. Now I'm just thinking of that. Like right now, when they were in the ship ship graveyard, I was expecting someone to say "ship graveyard." <laughs> Roar! <laughs> She's your commander. Oh, Mrs. Packard, which is Jack Jack Packard's last name. I actually kind of like that little dot thing under her eye. Mm. I don't know why. I was going to say, she looks like the type of person to grind her teeth in her sleep. <laughs> is that, like, she just says, like, uh, like uh, this, this pill is not working anymore. I need a new one. And that ship's totaled already. Totaled already. I know thought, but do you remember them, the... Uh, Star Wars the uh, uh, what's <laughs> mini Christmas <laughs> um, the the noise that the Death Star makes when it's blowing up like wow wow yeah wah. Like, do, do you remember exactly how it sounds well I I, I just I vaguely know okay uh, the like that that sound design for the Death Star well, was was it like copy and paste from like ship from marine like just from some marine ship or something like that or or did, or did they make their own noise for that do you know that at all oh no I don't know I can tell okay. you I asked because um because because we, we we heard some how this submarine sounds a little uh-huh. bit 
With the, with the alarms? That's when I just thought of the idea. Mm-hmm. But, but wouldn't the water help the boilers come down? Mm-hmm. That guy looked like a stripper, a stripper sailor. Okay, D- Disney for so far for this movie's take uh, has take has decided to take more of the comedy route mm. than than having more story or character things. Yeah, as I'm noticing. And comedy could have actually helped Treasure Planet more. Yeah, to so being dire and just one note. Oh man, there goes the ship. That was fast. Oh, wait, that thing is at Atl- no, Atlantean technology, and it's I think it's a laser. Oh yeah, right. They have like laser is blue. No, right? but we just saw right now. Yeah. Also, these ship designs are also cool. They're like very uh, much different, mm-hmm. especially on those little ships. Yeah. Uh, where, yeah, those on the right. I, I like they are, and on the sides they have missiles. Like, doo-doo, doo-doo. can you lighten up the screen? <laughs> I can't tell if it's that dark because of the movie. I see it fine. There we go. I was say, what are the bubble animations? Because <laughs> we're a second, they didn't have any, right? I don't know why this reminds me of um, uh, Matrix. Re- uh, is it Revolution? When 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 they're trying to escape from all the robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Revolution. Yeah. Where like they get, just keep getting bombarded by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and there's like eight guys controlling guns for one shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I love that scene. <laughs> I just think it's so much like action fun. I did too. That was I. What? I would say Matrix Revolution is a guilty pleasure. I would agree with that, yeah. I think Dude, for it's, it's very, years. I always like that scene when the, they're in the where the fucking the ship, not that the ship, and also when the people on the on the in the city are defending it against the octopus. Zion. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, like, then, I like this little thing. More characters to follow them. Seven hours, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, you guys. I was expecting a few days or something. No, seven <laughs> hours. <laughs> seven hours. Man. So, so, so if, so it felt how short it actually was. Yeah. Which is really weird to hear that. Mm-hmm. I do like though that, hey, they're giving more, they're giving more character stuff by yeah. them acknowledging all the people that just died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would throw that, I would even light a cigarette in that area. <laughs> Considering you're in new areas. Uh-huh. <laughs> so when he says it, Packer put out the cigarette. <laughs> he looks like a a marine officer. Also, I don't I don't like that Milo was doing that because it just makes him look stupid. Yeah. And, like very idiotic when we know he's actually smart. Very childish almost. Yeah, but that that horn thing I, yeah, was a, yeah. was too much for me. Why is he first? Yeah. Oh, probably because he's reading the map or something. <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> oh, then, then why, why was he? Why was he the first? Just I think they only put him there for the joke. But you didn't. You didn't need that joke. You could have moved on. Do you know how to drive stick out of curiosity? What? Do you know how to drive stick? No. I was taught once years ago, so I forgot. I tried it. While I, I wonder if that whole. Uh, I wonder if that whole that car with the wag with that giant barrel thing. Yeah. I wonder if that's just beer. Not, not even bother with say, water. Yeah, but the exact same thing. Okay, so sorry, you were in Mexico. What? I tried to learn how to drive stick. Oh. But uh, I wasn't very good at it. That's all I got, really. But it was a very old car, like something from the fucking 70s. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why is You blink. Could you could you miss that? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's a thin bottle, um, a canister of water. You saw that, right? Yeah. It's like almost paper thin. I'm not sure why they're doing that to him. Well, they've almost they he has almost killed him several times. Uh, I know, but he's the only one that knows how to get anywhere. So you need him. What are you gonna do if you, if he dies? You can. Where, where are you gonna go? Oh, they'll they'll, they'll feel that they'll, they'll be able to do without him. Mm-hmm. They'll feel that, mm-hmm. but they'll be wrong. But they'll be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds like he's from New York. <laughs> I don't know. Is that snow? Or yeah. is it just white? No, it's not. Yep, it's not. You know, I thought that was a cartoon thing when you're cold, you're, you, you, ch- you chatter your teeth. Mm. No, that's a real thing. <laughs> I always thought it was like for cartoon sake, so no. Mm. He's French, no? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Told you. You had you needed her to speak Spanish in order for you to believe it? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> now he loves the cockiness. <laughs> I forgot about two for flinching. Was that ever a thing? That yeah, not for me. When when it's when it was first like I guess created in a yeah. way. Yeah, that's when the whole thing. Like like usual like usual popular things. Yeah. At at the start, like oh yeah, this is cool, and then everybody does it, and then no one does it. Yeah. You're like a zipper. That was, I, that was, I, you hear that too, right? Yeah. Like he like farted or something. Huh. Actually, I, I would have liked if the only one that, that wanted to initiate like the the olive branch yeah. was the black man. Because yeah. like, he seems like the nicest one. Yeah. And, and and I was hoping that she would like would re- retaliate with like no nah, I don't think mm-hmm. so but then like she he does a look to her like hmm like come on and he says fine mm-hmm. and then she gives in and she calls him there because like right. the way they do it, they did it she's like okay we're friends now yeah this this is the first time they kind of slow things down mm. like then you know they get seven hours to get to Atlantis <laughs> like damn wherever they are. <laughs> mm. I just find it funny he has that photo already. Mm. Just well, I, I can't believe that. Mm-hmm. 
I, I could believe this character. Mm. I could believe him having that picture. He seems like a loving personality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, he his father is a black man who married an Indian, an Indian woman, and uh, um, uh, what's what's the the phrasing for <laughs> what's the phrasing um for Indian Americans? Is I know there's another term. Indigenous. No, not that one. Uh, what's uh, Native American? That's 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 what I'm yeah, looking yeah, for. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah you that, you have some other word. Indigenous, yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that word. Native American. Um, that his his father was a black man who, mar- who married a Native American woman, mm. and then that whole that whole quick backstory of him talking. Yep. Like, oh, I like that. Like, that's a nice little detail right there. Mm. <laughs> he gives up some weird faces yeah. a lot of the times. I like it. He agrees. That's why we're slow. Because every every every, every character is sick. Every, everybody needs um thirty five minutes in. Thirty five minutes in. Yeah. Right down. I don't know, but it kind of reminds me of Ed from Ed and Nettie. I think maybe because of the hat, the, um, the flat, the flat head. Uh-huh. I think that's really it. <laughs> he has a very small head <laughs> compared to the rest of his body okay so from all the characters inclu- including Milo um what do you think like eh standard like, eh I like this person more I like mm-hmm. Milo I like Milo the most yeah I like I I was I was also for neurotic guys for, no, for what neurotic what's that mean just you know, very angsty. Well, he's not angsty. I mean, anxious, sorry. Oh, anxious. Anxious, okay. nervous. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was uh, saying angsty, what? Angsty, yeah. When I said it, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but, uh, I still like the, the boom guy. Like oh, boom? Dino, yeah. I, 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 I really like, um, the, the black guy. The actual fireflies. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Also, I didn't, I didn't remember that. <laughs> I just, I just assumed. Would you say that was Milo's fault? No, he said I'm gonna kill that kid. No, would you say that's Milo's fault? No. Because we like, how that started. Yeah, I don't think it was, because all I did was, like, his light was moving while he was trying to mm-hmm. use the bathroom. And that was, and then those things came out. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I like the tire screech. What was in that? Gasoline? For the cars? That makes sense. If, if it was, that makes sense. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, we're all been damaged. <laughs> Did she, did she just hit him with his gu with her gun? Yep. Then I guess it was a good. Um, that's one of the reasons why they got this, um, this specific cast of characters, mm -hmm. because they're able to explain to the audience like, oh, this is happening. This, this, yeah, yeah. this is what this is. That whole thing, which meant we didn't have much character, much character stuff. Yeah. Until that one episode, one episode, <laughs> that one scene. Yeah, <laughs> I was just telling you, this feels like a, a movie based on a, on a cartoon. Like this is the end. The end? Yeah. I can believe that. You guess radiation poisoning? <laughs> we, think we, we don't know what that thing is, so... I got cancer. Uh, it don't work like that. You need scars. <laughs> it heals you, but then it makes you worse. <laughs> like, you know, that make, it makes you addicted to that <laughs> diamond. Right? It's like Adam from Bioshock. <laughs> oh, yeah. It makes you ravenous. It makes you want to go after little girls. <laughs> to be fair, in this current time, a lot of people are going after little yeah. girls. <laughs> Which is a sad thing, by the way. <laughs> 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 I'm really enjoying the faces on all these people. <laughs> the clouds look like they're like melted. I mean, like they're frozen ice or something. Like icebergs almost. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are they not moving? No, they're not. That's odd. Ah, are we going to get back though? <laughs> Holy cats! <laughs> And the Dakota. The voice actor sounds familiar. I don't know. <laughs> so what's your name for? Well, I don't know the character's name. I don't know. The black guy says, oh, you're black! <laughs> and then he says, like, is, this where, is this where my people originated from? <laughs> hmm. Buenos dias! <laughs> So they know, yeah. <laughs> oh, she just speaks English now. <laughs> it looks like he has an evil chin. Yeah, <laughs> an evil chin. I don't know why, but it makes the right. Like <laughs> mm, my chin, I you know I'm evil. <laughs> looks like it. I remember that from the trailer. That line, though. <laughs> How strong is that bridge? Like, no Atlanteans thought, oh, human vehicles are gonna come. <laughs> are those pterodactyls? It's hard to tell.
No, I just expecting his <laughs> superiors. I told you, you motherfuckers. Did you find the actress? I don't know the character's name. That's okay, fun the facts then. Because we are a good chunk into the movie. We are, aren't we? <sighs> okay, so the guy that played uh, Cookie, mm. the, the voice of the dog in Toy Story, died before finishing the film. Mm. There's a line in the movie... Only one line that's not spoken by him. Oh wait, so wait, he the voice actor for the dog from Toy, Toy Story? Story died. Oh, so they got someone else who mu- who sounds almost exactly like him. Yeah. I wouldn't have assumed. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah. For this movie, one line of dialogue that's that's not spoken by the same by the same character but different actor. It's a guy named Stephen Barr. He's probably the dog in the other Toy Story movie after. Okay. He died probably. Oh, here's a weird fun fact. One of the last Disney films to feature a character that smokes. Who smokes in this? The Oh, the lady. That and the uh the dynamite guy. Yeah, oh yeah. Guy. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. Like yeah, I am curious that what once people finally learn that oh, if you smoke turns out like it's actually very bad for you. Mm-hmm. Um to, is, so does that mean that just everybody say like okay now everybody get rid of smoking in, in your movies and shows whatever. Maybe probably. Cause if you make movies in the past and you're and smoking comes into play, you could, I'm like I, to me I don't see a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Oh now I'm speaking now I'm speaking English. You would th- I would think they would talk to the talk again in their norm in their normal language. Mm-hmm. But we know Americans, general actors, we don't like to read. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do we know that? Mm-hmm. We literally just got introduced to all these mm-hmm. people, or just these people. It's yeah. like a small group. Yeah, the, this kind of feels like um, some stuff was set up for the human characters and then the Atlantean mm-hmm. characters. And then this was like the big, like, resolve. Yeah. <laughs> but no. She was just looking. <laughs> that was a weird transition. Yeah. <laughs> that felt TV. It did. Oh, wait. Here's another fun fact. Hmm. Milo Thatch was the first animated Disney male hero to wear glasses. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how bad the the the, peop- the Atlanteans' feet are considering they don't, they don't wear shoes. It's like there's a loud car outside. Was that what that is? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> the gods who have all this power and <laughs> knowledge, we hate you, Atlantis. We're jealous of you. <laughs> Religion, am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh yeah, we saw that. <laughs> you forgot? Yeah. Well, no, I never forgot, but it just made me laugh. They just fucking abduct, abducted her. <laughs> abducted her. <laughs> She can't. Reading. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of horrifying. Like, hey, if you can't, we, or people never learn how to read. <laughs> I know what you were thinking. Was she just hiding it there, but over mm-hmm. with just a piece of cloth over it? Right. You're making fun of her. <laughs> of course, it didn't have a subtitle. <laughs> yeah. With with its mouth closed, it can't shoot the lasers, though. I thought I said something else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Same fine play. Oh yeah, her name. You know, you know. Oh, Kira. There you go. Kira. It sounds like a native name for Atlanteans. Oh look! It looks like the backdrop is drawn like fake. Yeah. It kind of like musicals. <laughs> So Kira is played by somebody named Cree Summer, who is Cleo from Clifford the Big Red Dog. Okay. So, is that it? Well, amongst you know, other things too, but that was only a notable one I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was the same for my mother. <laughs> he, this is the first time he ever mentions that. Like it's all about his grandfather. <laughs> No, he did mention it when they were still on the ship, and then when they weren't, when all the characters were talking about themselves. Remember? That was a faint intention. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was so weird. The noise. Yeah. Just... Don't don't let her know about your police officers. <laughs> uh, actually, those are our police officers. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, that sound effect. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, what the? You just grabbed a random <laughs> <Yeah>. kid. <laughs> that was really strange. With the, the dad says, "Hey!"
These look like actual, like, real guns mm. in the Disney movies. That's <laughs> a big deal, too. Not like cartoony guns. Yeah. It's a poetry. <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you your dad your people were dying. <laughs> Which is a lady. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I know, I know this. Yeah. You can slim, you can get someone with glasses on? I call it an animated movie. No, but now I'm thinking like it just in, in real life. Could you, could you do that? I don't know, actually. There might be some context that you might have to wear <laughs> to see it. Or, um... Here's a weird thing. One of the first Disney films to feature an African American character as an important secondary character. The way that was phrased. That's how it's written. No, but that that's yeah. odd. So she is black. She she doesn't look her skin color isn't as black as the black doctor. It's a funny thing. I thought that was the Iron Giant. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Yeah. The Red Spire. <laughs> I think at some point they were plan- they were thinking that this that this movie could spin off a show. Yeah. Yeah, this one or the second one. No, I, I think that more to the second one. And where and the second one feet feels like feels like they had they they're testing the waters to see if, if Atlantis could actually be a show hmm. maybe no I am get I am getting kind of bored. <laughs> Slightly. Another transition. <laughs> now you believe me about the evil chin. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> She has the the old lady has just a small mm-hmm. pistol. A woman in a bikini <laughs> fighting. <laughs> Or oh, that gun sound wasn't as loud as it should have been mm-hmm. to make an impact, right? Mm-hmm. After all, that was the first web, first That's gunfire. <laughs> no, but that was the first gunfire yeah, in this yeah. whole movie, right? Yeah, it was. A- yeah. Her name is Helga. So I think she is German. Is that what you said? I know. I thought she was German. Oh, German. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. 
I think I think you're right about the German. Because mm. isn't Helga like a German name? I think so. Yeah. Right to the very end when I killed him. Dun dun dun. <laughs> That's what I was to. What surprised you? A bit. I I asked Christian that because when <laughs> the door exploded open, he like he had a reflux. <laughs> Is that a pig? Huh. Of her king or their king? Huh. It makes sense if it said the eyes of their king. Uh-huh. We didn't see that? <laughs> It went by way too fast. Like I, I, uh, mm-hmm. like if you would have cut in a tent, I, don't, I, I think he was just just bluffing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the way it was coming off didn't sound like. It's like he's just wasting time. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> so this is like World War One then. I don't know. You know better. You know better time frames than I do. Yes. All right, this place... 19, what? This takes place during 1914. Yeah, World War One. Is this Wonder Woman time? Yeah, yes. right? Yeah, Wonder Woman. Yeah, but World War One didn't have any clear heroes or villains. Yeah. It was just a big fucking mess. Mm-hmm. Like, what, why was it a big mess? Teach me. It was essentially just European alliances. And what, did they want to take over people? No, no, or? no. It's just it revealed that some countries... We're in bed with other countries when they were like, oh, no, we're only, you know, partners with you. And it, it all started with the assassination of Franz, Fer- Franz Ferdinand by the Black Hand. And then one year... The Black Hand sounds like a comic thing. <laughs> and then one country was like, hey, you know, punish him. And the other country's like, no, that. So then you realize there's a whole bunch of alliances in Europe. Like, the one mm-hmm. country was that. So they all just won a war with each other. Mm-hmm. So the other side is not really a good guy because it's just... Uh, it was just a mess of, of politics. So it so so was it political idiocy? It, in many cases, or not what? idiocy is more political stubbornness. I guess you would say that because it's just governments. They're like, hey, you were supposed to be friends with us, but you're friends with that. No, no, we're not that. Like, hey, you weren't supposed to do this. You weren't that. Like, you know, I just kind of broke down at that moment, and because America wasn't involved, like I was say, like, because America wasn't involved no, at all. It was World War was strictly European. That's okay. true. Like, I think I don't think any other countries were involved at that point, or like South America or anything mm-hmm. like that. Um, and then America came because they're like, did we go to World War One? We only came, we only went in for the last year. Okay. We didn't lose too many, but we came out looking like the did heroes because we did we help at all, or yeah. or did we or did it only appear that we helped at all? Uh, we had soldiers. I think on World War Two we send uh we just send um uh, tanks and all that shit. World War One I, I don't know if we did the same thing. I know there were there's talks that a lot of, a lot of European uh, armies didn't like the Americans. The, the good ones, the Allies or the no no like just European. Oh. Countries. this is before this is World War One. There is no okay yeah sorry, but they used to refer to American soldiers as doughboys. Because they were these fat and they didn't know how to, you know, handle themselves in war. And that's, ever since then, they we've always had that perception of us that we're not very good at war. Cause our, I can believe our, that. Because our strategies are just not... Our strategies is, send more troops! But they say like, like but, but wait, but, but we need plans and strategies. Send more troops! Mm. 
that's what happened in D Day and like that whole fiasco. Sure, like yeah. D Day, not only at the beach but like that whole day. Because I remember when I when we had the history and I had the history channel and then like a D Day special. And that yeah. turns out on that day, like there were there were problems where like when U.S. Army soldiers were like rappelled down to parachutes. That apparently a lot of them landed on water because the guy I think they got misinformation. And because of all the equipment that they got, they all died. They all drowned because they couldn't get all the equipment out of fast enough. Mm-hmm. And then D-Day, they were very ill-prepared. Like, we were straight up the underdogs. Yeah. Like, that's the definition of an underdog. Because we were many... Because Americans are idiots. Mm-hmm. That's the, <laughs> the reason... That, that, stays, that stays throughout the years. We are still idiots. The reason we won both world wars was because we came in at, literally at the end. Did we, did we actually win or did the no, we actually quote-unquote win. good guys win? Well, in the first world war, it was just it was just a mess. Cause no one won. Well, Americans came on top just because they that country still had an army and it still had a government. Oh, us? Yeah. Okay. All the other countries had to kind of repair themselves, mm. and get back on their feet. And then the, after World War One, is we had the League of Nations, which is mm. a prototype of the United Nations, where other countries came in together and was like, hey, oh, animation looked look weird. Do all that. Uh-huh. And then World War Two happened, and then we didn't get involved until '44, I believe. And I know we got involved in late. Yeah, we got it came. That's why it's like we only, we only the reason we won those wars, like we came out on top, because we came at the end. Basically, when everybody had killed each other to a point of just mass mm-hmm. <laughs> graves. So that's why we came out winning at the end. Mm-hmm. But and then after that we were like hey we're, we're the shit and then we lost the Korean War we lost the Vietnam War we lost the war uh, the Middle East we're, also, we're still involved in the Middle East like that's why it's always no that's why like that thing that detail that's pretty cool mm. but that's why we're always kind of seen as just a bit like what the fuck are you guys doing because mm. we've never been really good at war we've been good at being at war but not good at winning it other than those two times at World War just because mm. um, I'm saying um, something else like, for all those other wars, don't many people say, like, we won those wars. Yeah. Like, but, like, do a lot of people say that or only the, the, just, just the one, just the very patriotic people that don't want to admit America lost? Just the very patriotic ones, yeah. The, re- the really patriotic ones? Are there many of them still in America? Yeah. People are so sore about the Vietnam War. So, that what, that we lost, or what? Yeah, that was... we lost. Because hmm. we, lo- we lost too many soldiers, so... We decided to pull them out. That's true. Like, the, we... That whole draft thing... And it was for nothing, really. Yeah. So like, why did the Vietnam War start? Was it something... Was something out of... Was it because of something well, dumb, or...? Uh, one of the reasons is just that... The reason... The reason we went to war was... We had an alliance to... Not, what do you mean was the... Was, was during the Cold War... The USSR was helping a guy... I think it was Ho Chi Minh... They they were helping him get in charge of Vietnam, mm. and we were helping. Um, our, we had our own guy. We mm. wanted to rule Vietnam. I think it was. Um, oh, we see him getting punched, not the el- elderly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some guy named. Uh, it starts with the D. Dong Nam something. Hey, like that. blood. What? Oh, there's blood when he got cut. Remember. When the, that didn't that didn't look like blood. It looked like dirt, but that was actual blood. Oh, actual blood. Okay. We uh, we had. We had our own guy. We wanted to rule uh, Vietnam, mm. so that's why we became involved. And there was also the reason that the military was mad that we our had, military, yeah, that we had lost um, the Korean War, and that if we won the Vietnam War, we would be seen as like, you know, the big dog. <laughs> you were you were already seen as the big dog after World War Two. Yeah, the big the biggest, like because like after that they, they didn't like almost all a large majority of Europeans. Like, love America? Yeah, we were... Sent, we were sent, yeah. At that time, we were seen as American heroes. Yeah. In many cases. But we just couldn't leave enough because we got involved in the Korean War. We lost that. We got in... Then the Bay and Pigs invasion. Mm. What is in Cuba. In which, you know, we sent... We sent soldiers to go to, to kill... I think Castro at the time. He was in mm. power. And then that went horribly... That was JFK's like probably biggest fucking blunder. Why? What was it blunder? Because essentially, we had sent um, people that had left Cuba once Castro was in power were trained by the CIA or FBI to go back to the country, and uh, oh, he said BT BT Barnum was right. 
Hi. That's a reference that no one would really really understand. That's the circus guy, right? Yeah, from yeah. The Great Showman. Yeah. But that's a reference that not many people will know about that. No, that was the weird thing they added yeah. in there. The baby just dies. <laughs> so you go. Also, not like you saw who stayed with Milo, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, but not not everybody is there with them. Mm-hmm. The like the other the other people that are, that should be with them aren't with uh-huh. them. It's weird. Okay, what? Right. So we, we had Cubans trained by the CIA to go back to the to the Cuba, start an uprising, and get Castro out of power. Mm. Problem was, we did very terrible. Once once we ha- once the Cubans went back into Cuba, they were immediately like outed. Outed, yeah. Like they had outpowered, outmanned, and all that. And we we what we were wanted to send backup, but forgot the reason. But JFK didn't want to send backup hmm. because you know he he was tired. He didn't want to start anything with with Cuba. Cause hmm. Cuba was affiliated with the USSR. Hmm. Then after the the failed uh, Bay of Pigs invasion. That's when we got the, how the fuck was it called, the Cuban Missile Crisis, mm. where the USSR had, where Cuba had nukes from the USSR, and because Cuba was right next to the United States, there was a stalemate. Like, hey, if you fuck with Cuba anymore, they're gonna send a nuke over to your country. Mm. So there was a stalemate, and then finally that, that the, the whole X Men First Class. Thing yeah, that didn't happen. So with we Charles were, and Magneto over there at the beach. That, that's also another conspiracy that the, they were hiding the mutants. No. That the I, re- you were gonna say, I was hoping you were going to go on with the joke. <laughs> no, the reason JFK was assassinated was for the Cubans he, he didn't he didn't give back up to. Also, oh, so you think it was Cu- Cuban, no, there's, Cuban there's, turned FBI? Yeah, no, because the Cubans were trained by our... That's what I mean. You think it was one of the... Or it actually is one no, of them. No, that, that's a conspiracy. Oh, conspiracy. Yeah, okay. I read that... that cause that's he, one of them, right? Yeah, because uh, JFK had a lot of enemies. Okay, I know that part. Yeah, and then a lot of when people said that it might have been Cubans who felt very bitter that you know they were left behind during the big, big Bay of Pigs. Bay of Pigs invasion. Thank you. Mm. That he that that's why they killed him. But yeah, I just been talking about U.S. history this past fucking in time. We made it back. To, we made it back to you. Know, like, oh, they're going. They need a saber. Yes, they do. Because he he told them. The king told Milo that that if you if you don't save Kida, um, but before the crystals the crystal power overtakes her, mm-hmm. you she will be lost to how my wife got lost to me, mm-hmm. to my beloved wife. Right. Do you remember the last act of this, like the action scene? Doesn't he have like pain? No, on? don't. Wait, what? Doesn't he have pain? No, that's the ending. Okay. Um, like the, the that's why I said the final action scene. Oh no, no. Nah. Like I'm saying, like, cause I, I think this one has more action, but now think about it. I think the the ending action of Treasure Planet I like more, just because like all the character stuff that, all the character arcs and stuff were being resolved, mm-hmm. and that, and they, once they had fun, they had like much more fun in the ending. Yeah. Do you, do you remember the ending for Treasure Planet? When when on once, once the once the planet is starting to just be starting yeah. to destroy itself, and start, starting from 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 then trying to get the the treasure from the old ship the old ship, mm-hmm. from there until until they get to the moon base, I think that's a, that's a really fun action action sequence that whole time. Mm-hmm. But for this one, um, I'm, I'm not as I don't oh it's, one could say I'm not I don't care as much as as the side characters as I did for Treasure Planet. Mm-hmm. Because Treasure Planet, the psychers that we have were in like probably like three or four. Mm-hmm. When this one has a and oh, and they were had better time to develop them. Yeah. And for this one, they have like five or six, mm-hmm. and we only had one scene to have the character stuff. Yeah. And then the, and then they're trying to like, well, you know what? We're gonna help Mina. We're not gonna stay with you with mercenaries. Mm-hmm. Which apparently, when they were mes- mercenaries with the other guy for years, they never killed anyone. They hurt them, but that's it. Mm-hmm. And they stole. That's it. Th- those were <laughs> the mercenary jobs. They never killed someone. Like, oh, what kind of mercenaries are you guys? Right? How's that mean reverse? Okay, now you know. (laughs) 
So wait, so that means that you need the, the crystal needs to be in needs to be inserted in there, mm-hmm. or do you just use it to turn it on and then you can take out the key? Yeah, he, t- he takes out the key after. No, but the, that's never explained. We we would assume that. No, because when they first did it with no, the I'm key, saying, yeah. no, I'm saying you could be right for all yeah. I know. I'm not saying that, but for all we know, um, they all they all actually have a crystal in them. Yeah, but they just never explain it. I just cards like that. Cards were like that. Like you put the key in the ignition, you turn it, and then you take out the key. Hmm. <laughs> oh, the volcanic thing. They went back. Oh right, yeah. I forgot about that too. I'll be right back. I gotta put it in the charger. Yep. <laughs> Look what it went. That was awkward. That was awkward, just out of place. You know, after you find out he's like the bad guy, he really, his face really tells it. <laughs> I told you the chin. It, once you, right. once you, li- once I, li- once we literally see the chin look different. Oh, bad guy chin. Chin tells everything. Yeah, apparently. Ugh. What was that? Slight burp. That was a burp. It sounded like you were disgusted by it. Wee. How are the gun effects sound? Oh, it sounds like actual guns. I like that thing. It sounds like old timey guns. Yeah, I, I like small details like that for things. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, so I think okay, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it just guns? Uh, okay, so you told me only had guns. That's all he has so far. Yeah. And there, there are the planes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, probably another reason why I don't, I don't like this as much as the. The Treasure Planet one? Yeah. Look at all these characters that we don't care about. And side characters. Yeah. Well, in the end of Treasure Planet, we only had all the people that we that we were following throughout the entire movie. Yeah. That's another thing why I like it so much. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll ask, I'll ask you which one you prefer after this is over. Yeah. Yeah. Because this, this takes a while, actually. Does it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I must say, I love the, the, gu- the actual, like, gun sound effects. I just don't like guns. I, I, yeah. I don't think they would do that now because I think that the the, the the people may think that that making the gun sound too real huh? would be like a bad message. Yeah. Which is actually a thing which I, which to me I don't understand really of, of like those little details of, of people people being afraid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that animation again. I I, just, I like his faces. <laughs> Now I'm thinking of her like Android 18. <laughs> but only because of the skin color and the hair. <laughs> right? She got lucky she, she wasn't cut up. I thought, yeah, I thought something was gonna, it was going to cut away. Cut then, away or her being cut? No, cut away so, you know, it's implied that she it's, got killed uh, from the blades. Also, for the antagonist, uh, something, something just sh- shocked me. Huh. Hmm. What? <laughs> I have something with These you. references. Her brain is fine. She survived somehow. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, mm, reference back then. Reference. That was kind of set up. Um... <laughs> the I can eat, well, so far you can admit antagonist wise the comparing this antagonist to the treasure planet antagonist yeah treasure planet has a better antagonist right yeah this he reminds me of uh the guy from Tarzan 
Oh yeah, he, he no, has but a, he actually he also has he's a much better character. Oh yeah, no, but like, I'm just saying, yeah, visually. Yeah, visually, he looks. I wonder if he also has the evil chin. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you may be already onto something. The chin. <laughs> we we'll have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so the the people who made this movie could they might odds are they're religious because they mentioned God and mm. they mentioned everyone's again. Yeah, it could be some sharp glass right there. Cause those things were able to cut the chain. Was that the whole helicopter? It looks too, too small. Oh yeah, that looked too small. Well, remember, it was just a platform. The rest of it was just the, the blip, blimps. Okay, it looked bigger. Yeah. Oh, I forgot there's another action scene. I I, I understand if you don't remember this. Oh. <laughs> She's just in there. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> oh, nice animation. Yeah. Very, oh, this one is very Treasure Planet esque. Yeah, right. Yeah. And Treasure Planet was made before this, right? Yes, it was. Yes, yeah. Oh, there's a goodbye drill. They just left it there. <laughs> it makes sense for Lances to be to be looking so dark there. <laughs> <laughs> He speaks more. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Magneto style just pushes <laughs> everything away. Like you know, someone touches it. They're like, no! They just get overpowered <laughs> again, like the other guy. Oh, and like then the, the antagonist is gone. That's how mean- meaningless he was. Yep. Hey, she's got ultra instinct. Only <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, some people would understand that reference. If you do, hey, good for you. Good on you. If you don't, oh well, that's not important. Just a funny reference. I am Groot. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck is, is it gonna be? You forgot already? They showed up in the beginning. They did, but I... You know what I'm saying? You forgot? Yep. Mm. I thought his head was missing. That oh, was just the a shoulder. Giant. Right, 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 right. Wait, did you just get the reference that I was saying when I said I am Groot? Yeah. Because Vin Diesel and Iron Giant. And Vin Diesel voices Groot. Right, right, right. Which is crazy, you know? You f- people would forget. Vin Diesel's Groot. I did forget that, yeah. Don't forget who plays Rocket Raccoon. Uh, him, I can understand people forgetting. Riley Cooper, right? Yeah, which is even weirder also. He does a good job at um, hiding his voice. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't have guessed that at all. Like, I remember when they did the... When the, the whole Guardians cast did the petition for James Gunn to... To come back? That, no, that... To, uh, either come back or that they stand with him. Yeah. Um, I'm, pretty, I'm sure that when, peop- when they all signed it, some people said... Wait, why is Vin Diesel and Bradley Cooper's name on this? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure none, many of them don't know that. Yeah. Also, um, when that happened, and that that became a bigger deal when the entire cast did it, and it wasn't just um, um, Chris Pratt, Z- um, Zoe Saldana, um, the girl, Batista. the girl who plays the girl who plays Nebula and Batista, but mm-hmm. they also got Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel, who aren't on set all the time. Mm-hmm. Like they they. They cared enough. They cared enough about James Gunn that they were by by his side. Yeah, that, that was a, to me when I saw it. I'm like, oh, that's a bigger deal. Yeah. Like, wait, did you did you almost feel the same way I did or what? I remember at the beginning with just Batista, he was like the first. One yeah, he was. A, yeah. And then after that, every curry. It took some time, but then. Yeah, it took yeah. some time. Um. 
I figured Bradley Cooper would take a bit longer just because I figured he is like the most A list out of all of them. You know? But I don't think anymore. Like he he had he had one of those one of those careers of like Keanu Reeves gets one of everything. Okay, he's gone. Tony McGuire, he's in everything. Okay, he's going down. Um, Bradley Cooper, he, Hangover, he's in everything. Okay, he's going down. He was one of those people. I, and I still think he was the more A-list one out of everybody. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's, that's what I mean, like, you know. And he's never shown. This is a funny thing. My mom was with me. It looks like her her arms are thin enough to have that thing still on her. <laughs> It was, with her with her biting her lip it looked like I'm going in for the kiss not a hug <laughs> but this is Disney so <gasps> wait so they need the volcano because it looks the same from when they showed up yeah I, I, besides just I, now we just have those giant statues over there and it's brighter or robots whatever they're called not brighter to me, it's the same. It's brighter to me. <laughs> I like I like the cartoony look. Gold. <laughs> that was gonna make his own. That was gonna make a batch <laughs> of flowers named after them. <laughs> To be fine. <laughs> I would think there'll be more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she punches. <laughs> yeah, you know, my little girlfriend just punches her. <laughs> I was just they made him stink because of because uh, he's French. What? I just, I just feel like that they made him stink because he's French. Do you think that's why? Because it's a French stereotype. Because <laughs> you know, they like to go all natural. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> and he says, um, the, the, piece, the bill is five, five pieces of gold. <laughs> Whatever happened to the blonde lady? She didn't die, did she? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> the cover stories. Okay. I guess to keep the secret. But but the blonde chick is dead then. Missing. I don't know. Oh, oh so there, the guy is saying that that's what happened to her. Yeah. We don't know for sure. Because we didn't see her body yeah. under right under that no, thing. No, yeah, that's what I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, I don't remember seeing that at all. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you think Milo would want that picture of his grandfather? <laughs> considering how much he loves him? Yep. I don't think his tattoo shows up in the in the seat in the sequel. Also those those new tattoos, I, I think they removed it from her too. <laughs> hey, it kinda looks like him. That's, oh, yeah, that's supposed to be your dad, right? Yeah. yeah. I wonder how long it took. Like what was it just actual just like carvings of a rock? Or or is that specific rock that works with the specific energy, uh-huh. right? Yeah, right. And look, when to me it just looks like rocks. Like I mean, it just looks like a giant rock. It's like a reverse Pocahontas. The white man. Gets in. <laughs> white man. The white man stays. Yeah, I'm saying. And this is a white man we could believe who wants to stay. 
Oh, okay. I'm like, why are they, why are we? It's like, oh, because they have the thing. Cool. Okay, it's over. Um, we'll, we'll talk about it now. So, what do you think of this act? La- the last action scenes. Apparently, I forgot compared to the last action scene in Treasure Planet. No, I would say like the Treasure Planet one more. What? Why? Is it because of what I said about the character thing, or that... or or, ju- or you just? I say you you just go. You speak. Uh, well, one of the characters like as fun speak as sore. as fun as these side characters are. Mm-hmm. Um, I with the ones from Treasure Planet, I felt like we were able to get along with them because throughout the whole movie, well, here we just got them. Like, say your funny bit, and then remember that funny bit, and then that's it. And your funny characteristic. Yeah. Um, that, and I... I just like the Treasure Planet one more just because of the skateboard thing, you know, when he... The ending? Yeah, the ending. Mm. Well, here, none of it really was just like, oh, my God, this is cool. Mm. It just felt like it needed to go big because it was the end. Mm. We needed a climax, so we got one. Mm. But overall, I would prefer this movie over Treasure Planet. Overall, yeah, I would say. I, yeah. I would just definitely much more watchable. <laughs> I, w- I was starting to get bored, I think, halfway through. Near the end, yeah, but I think because we're near the end. I was like, all right, cool. No, I think halfway through. Uh, halfway th- I, I felt near the end. Also, yeah, the la- how about this? The last the last act. Yeah, the last act is you kind of felt... When a twist happens. I'm like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, move on. I kind of feel it would have been better if it would ha- it had no villain. Like, like they just have to help a dying society. Mm-hmm. But it kind of feels like, oh, we, we always have a villain, so we need a villain. It turns out he... A generic villain, man. Yeah. Because I, I was kind of digging the whole, like, these are just a whole bunch of people. Mel J. Fox's voice, that's my... I kind of like the idea of just all these people, are like, they want to, they're doing it for the money, but, you know, they don't have, like, an evil attention. They're like, oh... Mm-hmm killing any, anybody there's but like, but also the, and then but then there's also for the, the adventures yeah but also there's also the fault of them saying oh we've been mercenaries for years with, with these two as our leaders but we never killed anyone I never, I don't remember that <laughs> no, that no that, they said that oh, no, no, no. They, I, I told you before they said like they never killed anyone they just hurt them I'm like but how can you be mercenaries for this for this for these two people for so long yeah Oh, this mu- music is so generic. But overall, I much prefer this movie. Clean up animation. <laughs> yeah, odds are I'll be fine if I never see it again. Tre- uh, Atlantis? This one. Yeah. yeah. What else? No, oh, I think because we're talking about Treasure Planet. No. But yeah. I, <clears throat> I, yeah, I don't mind if I see it again, but if I see it again, like I, I'd be into it. Um... But would you, could you see yourself easily doing other things when the movie's going on? Probably when the twist happens, I'm like, all right, I know what's going on. And I just... Because <laughs> the rest of it, I, I really did enjoy. Okay, any fun facts as we wind down? Yes. It was reported in 2002 that when the submarine voyage attraction in Disneyland, that it was closed down. It was supposed to reopen with the theme of this film. Mm-hmm. So, to change the submarine yeah. to Atlantis. However, due to the negative feedback from some critics, the idea was scrapped. Some critics? Is that is that all? Yep. I guess it's moved into two old critics. Check. Well, well, after you've seen some fun facts. We didn't even bother to check critic-wise how to do... <coughs> Helga's gun is a German C-96. Doesn't matter. All the firearms are based on real weapons from the 19th century. So. I, I do really love... I'll say it again. I do really love the actual like gun mm-hmm. gun sounding effects. <laughs> Okay, this is hor- that was horrible, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Dreams. Originally, the final battle was to be only on land. The creators had decided to put the action in the air to create a more dramatic sequence. No land. I don't see how that would work in the land. I like this. I prefer this one. The most of the films take place in 1940, the year World War One started. As fun fact is, oh, and, and there was a reference of Wonder Woman helping, but they mm-hmm. it was cut out of the film at the last minute. <laughs> Next thing you know. One Wonder Woman is the daughter of Milo and the princess, but then there, there was like a there was like some accident w- which led to them being separated from her. Then she makes her way to the female island, who's that? Who's then adopted by the by the queen of that island? Right, here's the, the final shot of the film with the restored Atlas. You know when it pulls it back, mm-hmm. was actually a combination of hundreds of drawings lined up into one fifteen hundred foot long drawing. Oh wow. Each of the drawings had to be carefully drawn with the planes flying across the entire pull-up to convince the audience that it was one drawing. I wouldn't even... It didn't seem like a drawing. 
But hey, that's that's a lot of effort for that shot. So I, I, I congratulate them. The Disney movie with the highest body count. Go oh, animated or just says Disney. It just says Disney movie. I can believe that until they got a Mar- uh, Marvel, mm-hmm. and that body count increases. Uh, here we were onto something about this. We, this film was originally going to kickstart a TV series called Team Atlantis. Boom. However, because of its poor box office returns, nothing came of the series. The sequel, Atlantis: Marvel's Return, contains storylines that would have formed the basis of the aborted series. The aborted series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I just, that was, I I knew. Was was that like an orgasm of yours that was blown or something? Maybe. Like oh, it could have been a show. Oh <laughs> no, it's, it wasn't. It was aborted. That's it. Okay. Oh Roth, that was fine. I was I was bored. Um, could not see myself watching it again unless um, my niece just said, "Hey, I want to I want to watch this. I heard about this." You? Uh, yeah, if someone else were to watch it, say, like, hey, I want to watch it, then fine, I'll join. But... Can, you see, can you see yourself actually saying that I'm watching that whole movie again? No, like I told you, once we get the twist that the guy is a mer- No, but with with your friend. With a friend. Because you said, like, yeah, yeah, I have a friend. I have a friend and say, like, yeah, let's watch this movie. Yeah, but probably through that point, I would just probably be bugging them. Just... Let's talk about something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And I'll, I'll, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. fine. Nothing spectacular. It is more exciting than Treasure Planet. Yeah. Even though there's some, even though Treasure Planet has some things that are much higher caliber than Atlantis. Although to be honest, I don't. I see this one. I don't see this one with much of a TV series. Like Treasure Planet, I think there's you could do more with that in TV. Mm-hmm. With this one, I feel like everything kind of been done in the movie. And, like I don't need to see any more of it. Like, if it has to be a show, I would say, like, one season, one and done type of thing with, like, seven, eight episodes. Yeah. You can see that. Treasure Planet seems much more... There's, st- there's rich, stuff there. Rich in story to tell, mm-hmm. but this one just seems kind of one and done. If, if, the, if my friend was playing Treasure Planet, that could have been their way, their own version of a little Star Wars. Yeah. And did we talk about that? Yeah, we did. In the okay, then it could have been their Star Wars. This one, no. Okay, well, thank you all for listening. Um... Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed um, our discussions. Hopefully you enjoyed my little U.S. history Yeah, <laughs> lesson. Yeah, um, hi- I, history, I, history class with Christian. You know what? I really, that was Wait, one of U.S. Said. history taught by Christian a Latino. I really... That's, U.S. history is my favorite class in high school. <laughs> For a lot of people, it was. Oh, right. Right. Okay, but, yeah, so thank I you. I took AP U.S. history. <laughs> okay. okay well, I gotta use the bathroom. So all thank, right. you, thank you all for listening to us. Um, you'll hear us next time. And have a good day. Goodbye. Say la vie.